Hi guys, Coach Kane here, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. And I know it's been a long time, but I've got something in here for you today. And I want to show you uh, the bulls, the blue bulls, um, why they're a much more enterprising, more attacking side. Not that undercoached style of play where they just used to go bash, bash, go wide. Undercoached, not overcoached. If you want to know what that's all about. Uh, you, you need to message me, but I, I can maybe make a video on that as well. You know, a lot of people used to say the, the teams are overcoached when they only play a certain way. To me, that's undercoaching because they haven't got all the all the options available. We won't get into that now. Why are the Blue Bulls a tougher side to defend than they used to be? Let's have a look. Okay, so what do we have here? It's the Highlanders versus the Bulls. Not a good score for the Bulls. But let's have a watch. Okay, we don't need Grand Whispers for this one. Okay. So first of all, the first thing that he hasn't done is done the Zane Kirshner uh, pump it in the air and, and chase. <laughs> so he's actually run the ball back. So they've got possession. Possession and they're in the half. Now just watch here. They source the space. There's a little dummy. There's a little offload. There's a wide ruck. Quick ball. Look at the extra pass there. He didn't just bash it up. What's the next option? Now they play off 10. Wider. Create the middle ruck. Here comes Junches. Not going to go the same way. Because they haven't been undercoached. They've looked. Udendahl again. Look at the feet. Brilliant. Bore attention. Brilliant use of the options. Basic. Now he plays tight again. Nice and direct. And now all you got to do is just hold on to the ball. Bingo. I mean, it's brilliant. Brilliant from the Bulls. Now, they never used to do that. It never used to be the case. They used to uh, bash, bash, bash. If the overlap was there, they go wide. But otherwise, it's just bash. Just bash. And then put the kick. Or, oh, you wouldn't even have seen all that phase. You would have seen Zane Kirsch to catch the ball at the back. Put the up and under up. Chase. Hope for a mistake and play from there. It's not a bad tactic. In the World Cup, you're going to see it. Defense is a bit tougher than here in Super Rugby. But at least teams are looking now. They're looking for the space. Is there space there? Before they didn't even look. Before we just be undercoached. If I get at the back, I kick it back. That's, the, that's my only option. They don't even look. The important thing with our players is that we teach them to have a look at all the options. And we uh, give them the skills to do so. And when I say give them the skills, don't take your star and say, well, you know, whenever you get the ball bite, you just got to go score the tries. That's undercoaching. Because just now, that star, in inverted commas, who's going to play for the Springboks one day, is going to come up against an All Black who's better than him. And he can't just go and score against him. No, he's got to learn how to pass the ball. Or he's at least the same quality as him. It's important that we give our players the wider range of skills, teach them all the options. And if you're a coach and you don't know all the, all the range of options, don't be afraid to admit it. Seek help. Call a guy from your union, a, prof a professional. The pros are the best coaches. That's why they're there. They're the best. They know how to play this game. Mm -hmm. Our high school rugby coaches are not the best coaches. They are good coaches, but they've got a lot to learn, including myself. This is Kane Ravidoris, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. And please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's see if we can win a World Cup this year. Cheers, bye.